Hey guys, what's up? My name is Daniel and this is TechRite. Recently, I have been hearing a lot of rumors about the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus exploding, just like the Galaxy Note 7s did previously. Now, let's back it on up just a little bit. I did do a video on this, but it has recently gotten out of hand, especially for Samsung. The Galaxy Note 7s have been catching fire, overheating, exploding, to the point where they recalled them and offered a replacement phone if you had purchased a phone after September 14th. The replacement phones started exploding as well. So Samsung just decided to take the loss, discontinue the Note 7, and recall all of them. Now from what I understand in the information that I did research on, over a million owners still have the Note 7 and have not returned them, which could potentially be a very dangerous situation. People on planes aren't even allowed to have the Note 7 with them because it is so dangerous to be on a plane with it. It's kind of ridiculous. But recently, everyone that I know and some people on social media have mentioned to me that the iPhone 7s are now exploding. Now, this is true but it isn't. There was a picture that surfaced of the iPhone 7 overheated in pieces uh, and it was originally a rose gold color but it kind of looks matte black because it exploded and caught fire so badly that the entire phone is just charcoal. <laughs> now this may be true. Someone apparently had ordered their iPhone 7 Plus when they received their phone, they opened up the box only to find exploded packaging, exploded phone, the whole ordeal. This may be the case, yes, but it's not a huge issue that Apple is having currently. Uh, it was one phone. All of the phones are lithium ion batteries. Now lithium ion batteries in general are flammable, especially if they're punctured, if they're overheated, if they're overused, if they are dropped, handled incorrectly. This could cause everything to explode essentially and I don't think that that should be a case for a recall or anything of that nature. Now, yes, the Galaxy Note 7 did have problems with the actual operations of the phone. It could not operate without exploding. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus is a completely different story because it is a, probably a matter of how it is handled and how it is packaged. Uh, you have no idea what that package went through to get shipped to that person, which could have caused it to explode. Now, if it had been on a truck or a plane or something and that it, someone was around that package, I would automatically assume they would have heard the explosion because in my mind, it kind of sounds like a gunshot, I would think. But this was just one case. This is not a situation of, dude, I hear the iPhone 7s are exploding now. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear it because it was one phone. If I have to Google something to find out if it is real or fake, nine times out of 10, it's not as big of a deal as a lot of people crack it up to be, especially with technologies like this. It was just a rumor that got started no offense, but probably by someone who is tired of hearing about the Samsung iPhone 7 feud and decided to even the score. Plus, most of the time, we all know how social media can blow things way out of proportion. The Note 7 is no longer. The iPhone 7 is still good. And I plan on buying one very, very soon. A big misconception that a lot of people have, and I didn't even know this, I had to look it up whenever I updated my software. If you update your software, or if you buy the new phone and you back up from a previous backup or a previous phone, then for the next couple of days, it is rumored that your phone could lose battery quickly, get hot easily, and not be as fast as it could be because it is having to re-index all of that information from the previous software to the new software. Now, this is something that is very new. I've never heard of it before. It makes sense in my head. So when I upgraded to the newest 10.0.1, which I will have a video coming out over very soon, 
it did get hot for a couple of days because I'm assuming the indexing. Once I upgraded, my first thought was, oh, this phone really freaking sucks. This upgrade sucks. I'm switching to Samsung. But that wasn't the case at all. Uh, I did turn to my computer, as everyone else does, look up the research, and I, from what I can tell, my phone actually was indexing just because from hand-on experience, after two or three days, which is exactly how long the indexing process takes if you have a lot of information, my phone went back to normal. It was a little bit faster, the battery was a little bit better, so I could only assume that that was the case. All right, just wanted to clear up that little misconception because every single person that I talk to about this says, you know the phones are exploding, right? No, they're not. That was one phone and it was probably handled incorrectly. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, put a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. I will have more videos coming out, tech videos, lots of videos, 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 videos. I will see all of you guys later. Love you. Bye.